You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Let's go to San Diego where drivers at there are starting to see new billboards with black parents holding their babies. The campaign was created by the city's uh, perinatal equity initiative to address disparities in the health outcomes of black babies and mothers. The billboards, which went up earlier this month, include statements showing racial discrimination leads to higher rates of miscarriages and maternal deaths among black women. Some of the signs say our black babies are nearly 60% more likely to, to be premature due to discrimination and racism hurts your baby long before they're born. The program's website states the data comes from state and county health departments. Uh, this is the sort of information that should be uh, uh, up front with people, um, uh, Avis, because this is how we are being impacted. And so, and to make it clear, it is, it is, for so many wh wh white folks in this country, it's out of sight, out of mind, having no idea, having no clue whatsoever. Uh, and uh, this sort of billboard campaign shows the impacts of racism. Like, like I said, it impacts that child before it's even born. Absolutely. I mean, the statistics that are surrounding that data is just, you know, atrocious. When you look at uh, black maternal mortality, when you look at black infant mortality, uh, when you look at all of these various ways in which our children have to fight for their lives, and black women have to fight to be able to live by going through the very natural process of being pregnant and giving birth. It is atrocious. We really are, when you look specifically at the statistics that are connected with the black community, more akin to institutions or nations that are not developed nations, right? Developing nations, uh, as opposed to other sort of major uh, other uh, nations across the world that are already developed nations. And so it's really disturbing to see these statistics. And what really annoys me when we hear about the pushback to just the truth telling uh, that initiatives like this provide in terms of putting those statistics and those truths on billboard is that you have people that are more offended by the telling of truth than they are offended by the horrible circumstances that lead to the disparities that literally kill women and children each and every day who are black. And it has to be upfront in your face uh, because a lot of people simply have no idea, Teresa. Uh, and people have been have lived in denial about this reality. Uh, and we talked about it when, when Serena Williams talked about it. Folks were just like, oh my gosh, shocked because it shows you uh, that it doesn't matter how much money you have, uh, you have those issues when it comes to doctors and racism. Absolutely. And you know what? If, if, even if we just went on to the, the basic conversation on what a billboard is meant to do, it is meant to be in your face, thought provoking, a call of action. It is meant for you to do something. So if this divisive billboard was meant for you to have conversation about um, what, or make you actually go to the website because people wanted to learn more, these are the stats and these are the hard hitting truths that people are taking action to do. So I totally agree with it. I think the stats back it up. And it's an unfortunate truth that if, if you want to change this narrative, the simple thing is change it. Exactly. Well, uh, Julianne, go ahead. Well, I was just saying exactly. If you want to change the narrative, change the narrative. Beyonce Knowles also had the same problem uh, with her uh, childbirth, and she talked about it. But people don't want, you know, people do not want to believe the truth. They want, they don't believe that fat meat is greasy. In other words, they would, want, would love to believe in this race-neutral world where there is no discrimination, but every stat we have, starting with income data, poverty data, you go down the list, every stat we have shows disparity. I think last week, Roland, we talked about uh, what happens in medicine and how, you know, black men going to an emergency room with a broken bone are less likely, about 40 percent less likely to get pain medication than a white man with the same kind of injury. So we know that the, we know what time it is, and it's useful for women who are pregnant to get that information uh, just so that they can be more vigilant about what goes on in their lives. Many have heard about what happened with Serena, uh, what happened with Beyonce, but many have not. And when they find themselves in a situation with eclampsia or something else, they and their partners 
need to be empowered to say something to these doctors. Absolutely. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.